When you know how to resolve forces, then you can greatly simplify many structural problems. In this video, I'm only going to talk about coplanar forces, meaning all the forces are acting in one plane, let's say X, Y plane. A force can be resolved into many different combinations, such as what I've drawn here. But the most useful combination is the rectangular combination where the components of the resolved force are parallel to x-axis and y-axis. Components in the horizontal direction are called horizontal forces and they can be noted as fx. Components in the vertical direction are called vertical forces and they can be noted as fy. We can find the rectangular components either graphically where the force is shown as a vector or algebraically. We have a force F here and the angle between the direction or the sense of this force and X axis is theta. Now we can write our horizontal component F X, F X is equal to F times cos theta and the vertical component of this force f f y f y is equal to f times sine theta let's look at an example in this example we have a 10 kilonewton force acting at an angle of 30 degrees to x axis Therefore, we can write if x is equal to 10 times cos 30, which is equal to 8.66 kilonewton. And then if y is equal to 10 times sine, which is equal to 5 kilonewton. Conversely, when we know the magnitude of these rectangular components, then we can find the resultant force by using Pythagorean theorem. Therefore, if Fx and Fy are known, then we can find the resultant force F. Resultant force F is equal to the square root of Fx squared plus Fy squared. So we can write Fx square plus y square. Then we can use basic trigonometry to find this theta angle between the direction or the sense of this resultant force and x-axis. We can write tan theta is equal to fy over f x and theta is equal to inverse tan f y over f x thank you for watching the video if you have any questions about this video please post your questions in the comment section below and if you would like to see more videos like this one please subscribe to our channel i will see you all in my next video